Choose your fighter. Lady Inspired. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, the last time we went around, did different shrines, helped a friend, got a little heated, it's fine. Today, I think I might go do Tulin's quest, or at least, huh? At least start it or something, or at least go around that general area and then explore what's around there. Um, but yeah, so Will streamed yesterday. I usually stream on Sundays, but he streamed yesterday because of the Final Fantasy demo. That was out. Uh, apparently, it was really, really good. I got heated last time. Oh, don't. It's Andy! Hello, Andy! No! The microphone, no! It's nice to see you both. It's nice to see you too! Oh no. Okay. It looked like my camera paused for a little bit. Uh, that got me concerned. But don't you worry, Andy. We're gonna... <coughs> Even though I'm coughing, we're gonna go explore. We're gonna go hunt. We're gonna go kick some ass. I won't, I won't delete. <laughs> I won't move that pen. Where is Rito Village? I completely lost track. Oh my god, it's all the way over there. I guess I should. I guess I should do, like, the main quest line. But also... No. But also... Maybe we should go over here. See if we can get some of the missing treasure. I am going to make it a, I'm going to make it a priority that I don't get super heated today. Okay. Just a game. You know. Try my best. Well, it's already pretty, pretty cool, I have to say. Ooh. I just wanted to saw you go up in our balloon with Lady Impa earlier. That must mean that you managed to fix it for us. Thank you, Link. Well, I think, I think part of the reason I got so heated too was cause like, I don't know, cause I was dealing with, uh, being sick on top of something that was like frustrating me. So I was just ultimately frustrated, but I'm going to try and not do that. Just be a little bit more chilled out.
These don't look like specialty ones. There's a wonder if there's anything else I have. I have those. Wow, these really work. I have to say. What have you been up to today, Andy? <laughs> Always with the shields. I don't- I have no use for shields. Oh, you know, not a single thing, Wing. Here, overthinking. You haven't been playing Ark or anything? Good. I'm a fish. What's that noise, Link? Are you making such weird noises? Okay, let's see. No, I launched a game and then I didn't have any energy, so after standing still in the game for like 10 minutes, I just closed it again. I feel that. Sometimes I do that with Breath of the Wild. I'm just like... Cause there was a time I just played it, um, like, did you see that? So I saw that you sent a video, um, I didn't open it yet. Oh, get back here!
Okay, does that need to be broken? To get the treasure? I know the treasure's in here. Game, you can't lie to me. Hey. Bless you. Everyone bless Will, he sneezed. Okay, let me bless you. Everyone bless Will, he sneezed. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, just watch that video really quick. You know, it's a shame we didn't actually get to see Ray die there. Yeah, genuinely, Andy, I thought you would have picked Yennefer. Because I, I know you hate the star, <laughs> the new Star Wars movies, but because, um, like, I guess because you hate them so much, I thought you just didn't even acknowledge Rey, like, as a character. So, uh, I thought you would have chosen Yen, just because <laughs> Yen made you, well, Yen is nasty, but she also made you, uh, run all the way back to Kaer Morhen. So yeah, I was actually surprised by what you answered. No, I shouldn't do that. That's... I think I'll blow up with it. Yeah, I can't tell if they're all- all the arrows. Okay, yeah, they're pointing towards this direction. But is it inside the cave or outside the cave?
So if Prince Sidon gave me his essence uh, to always fight with me, I wonder if Tulin's gonna do the same thing. That's that's primarily why I want to do his quest. Also, it's really confusing that Tulin is voiced by Christina V. Um, because I just want to keep calling him her, but I know that that's... I know Tulin's a boy. Yeah? Sorry, I was looking up, like, am I, am I just missing something with this cave? Is everything good? Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just, because I know that, um, for this treasure you get, you get to a room that has, like, a little tent. And whatnot. I guess I could break this and see. See if that's the issue. That wasn't the issue. Okay, sorry. Let me just- I just don't know how to get to the room. Okay, that's why. I see. Yes!
Careful there, partner. You went and scared off the little birds away. You go storming around like that and it won't uh, just send the... It won't just be birds you send flying for the hills. It's fine though, I did hear some interesting chips and warbles from them. I don't want to say this too loud and start to panic, but... Rumors are spreading about Princess Zelda, that she's been seen riding some mysterious beast. It's said to be a mountain of a beast too. One of the huge brutal tusks. My little reporters had never seen anything so frightening. Of course, what made it far worse was that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. Mm. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. But if this terrifying monster exists, then the implications will make this a very, very huge story. You know, there were guests at this table talking about uh, some kind of rumored beast. My little bird informants told me that they there would have been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. Want to learn more, we should dive speak first into the stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. We just need to peck away at this until we figure out if it's an enticing truth or an elaborate fiction. But I'm gonna go ahead and do Tulin's quest first. Oh. And then change my clothes. Oh my god, look how cool I look. Now, what happens? Oh. And then my normal. I don't know. That won't do. I still think this is the best one. See no. Yeah, so Zora's. I really like Prince Sidon. Rito. Yeah, Rito's are my favorite species in the Zelda universe. And then Zoro. <laughs> Zoro's. Zoro's are a close second.
Yeah, I should really explore the area. Or at least, okay, let me at least go to the tower first and then I will return to the shack. Oh, is there some sort of cave nearby? Could I even? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, this was a mistake. <laughs> I'm going back.
We're drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fun if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up, so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome to what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. If I were Geralt, I would just come, like, right into this shack and just take their food even though everyone's struggling for food. One day the winds that ought to blow in Rito Village ceased, then the heavens grew stagnant and the earth fell to ruin. Villagers looked skyward for a solution. They looked for a skyward sword. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and descend swiftly toward them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god. And the god stood up, stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? Dorito took flight in turn, uh, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader, Hey, how you doing? Cosmo Lamp, welcome to the stream. We're finally doing Tulin's uh, quest after quite some time. That's great! My name's Casey, uh, playing Tears of the Kingdom, where I lollygag for about 30 hours before uh, finally getting to the point. Setting up my new Linux install. Is that some like computer hardware or something also sorry if i sound stuffy i'm like getting over a cold recently so i don't normally sound like this it's a windows replacement nice so just chilling relaxing i think that's what we're all doing today it's a really pretty day outside so just looking through the window from time to time as i play their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials this they understood would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god loading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. And the vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away, floating islands dotted in a clear blue sky. Villagers rejoice songfully and then, with reluctance, return to Earth. Lisa doesn't know much about computers. It's true, but I mean, I wish. I, yeah, I wish I knew more about them. I mean, I know more than I did in high school, just because I work with computers so much more now. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. I blew across a uh, hybra once again. The skies cleared and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. Uh, this arc that saved the village from catastrophe became known as the Stormwind Arc. Yeah, I'm not... I wish I was more of, like, a tech person. But a lot of, like... I'm just- I'm just not really good with technology. Oh. Bonfires, a blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. Uh, they eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it, so you can spot them even from the air. Those proud as I am of them, they can't be the spotlights that are on the fancy Skyview Tower. Mm -hmm. 
Don't warm me up like Bonfire will, but it's hard to beat if precise in sheer brightness. Ooh. Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Yeah, but where's Tulin? I thought they went over here. Is he not over here? He? Is he not over here? Do you, uh, game on your computer, Cosmo? Okay, what kind of games you play? I, I need to know. Are they like RPGs? Computer games? Dialogue games? I love RPGs. Now, what's your favorite one? I, I need to know this. Because over... over Currently, Horizon Zero Dawn and Crisis Core, the Final Fantasy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, we are a, a dual channel here. So it's me and then Will who plays. Um, Will played <laughs> Zero Dawn and Crisis Core fully. Actually, yesterday he, he played the Final Fantasy um, demo. Mm. What in the world? What is the world coming to when something like this can just fall from the sky? Mm. Travel which the blizzard shows no sign of obtaining, so be careful when you travel these mountains. Oh, it does! Okay. I don't know why I just didn't do that earlier. Hey Ellie, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Don't want any spoilers though, so I avoid any kind of playthrough or video. Have you played the other Final Fantasy games? I... The only Final Fantasy game I have completed is the world of Final Fantasy. I know a lot about Final Fantasy 7. Uh... 
But that's about it. I know a lot about Final Fantasy 7 and 15. 15 is the one with Noctis, yeah? But yeah, Ellie, welcome to the stream. Uh, we were just talking about RPGs and uh, Final Fantasy games. Uh, a very chill day. It's pr it's uh, pretty outside, so it's really nice to look out the window because it's been raining for a couple days or being like kind of hazy. But it's really pretty outside, which I appreciate. Oh yeah, no bueno. Elise, okay. Oh my god, I can't find Tulin anywhere. you are a daily streamer so i so this is a dual channel between me and my fiance will so i stream three days a week and then he streams three days a week and then we stream together on one day that's typically how it goes um some some weeks he streams more um if there's like a new game that's out that he really wants to play, or vice versa. That's typically how it goes. Aid from above. Doubt it. Yes, I. <laughs> yeah, that was bullshit. So does this thing hurt me? Oh, come on! I can't even grab it. So how is your stream journey going? Are you talking about Tears of the Kingdom? Because in Tears of the Kingdom, I lollygag for about, um, 20 hours. And then I finally get to the main quest. Fuck! It opens all of it? What aid am I getting?
Are you having fun, Casey? Yes. <laughs> because I'm not doing that, uh, weird... Try... Ah. Now what is this? Oh, I don't like that. Ah! No! No, why did I not grab the boxes? Fuck! What are you even supposed to do here? <laughs> no. Are you talking about our uh, Discord? Because we do have a Discord where we update um, if we're going live, um, just like fun announcements, stuff like that. So is that what you're talking about? I see. There we go. Oh, is that the really tall waterfall from, uh, from the Zoras? <laughs> no, there's no way I'm gonna make it. friends so would you like to have a look at my art that i made recently for my friends yeah so you can always post your art um hopefully i'll stream art yeah you can always post your art we do have an art discord for that um But we don't do any sort of advertising or anything like that. Yep, see, I know. I wasn't gonna make it. Oh my god, go away, so I don't fight them. So, you can always post, but we don't do direct messages.
Clip. Mir <laughs> Oh, that's scary. Uh, okay, well, let me see if I will regret this. Are you? <laughs> These are the weirdest looking things in this entire game.
I wonder if this leads to one of, like, a secret treasure or something. All right, let's go. Okay, it's gonna be that hard. Did Tulin go like where the storm cloud is? Okay, where is Tulin? Okay, he's at the peak. No wonder I couldn't find him. You know, as long as I don't have to deal with any goddamn hands, I'll be all right.
scary. I'm gonna be really sad if I uh, went all the way over here and then turns out uh, he was back over by the little shack. Ooh, will this help me? Okay, it only helps me get up here. Oh my god, it's Ashes! How you doing? How's it going? It's going pretty well. Uh, it's a really pretty day outside. Um, so I'm just relaxing. While playing Breath of the Wild. I finally... Ashes. It's been how many streams now I'm finally doing... Or coming back to Tulin's quest line. Wow, <laughs> this is what you call getting your life together. Okay, finally. <laughs> this is character development. But how have you been? What you been up to today? I've not done much. You know, that seems to be a common theme. Uh, today. Andy was just chilling. And then, uh, I mean, I worked a little bit today, but it wasn't, wasn't too long. And then, Will. Will doesn't really have that much to do today. So it's just kind of, it's just one of those days, you know? Oh. Well, I was expecting to run into a Hylian out here. I'm observing the clouds and the winds in hopes of learning the the cause of this blasted blizzard. Mm. I'll probably learn more from a higher vantage. Unfortunately, flying isn't an option. The gales are too strong for it. Bitch! Ah! It could be worse, for real. We'd rather have a chill, nothing day than a stressful one. This thing will die, slowly and painfully. I feel like Cersei. There we go. Okay, is this another? I went so far, I made it to another tower. It 
said Tulin was at the peak. What the hell? Hashtag where's Tulin? I went to the wrong peak! Ain't that a bitch. Okay, let me... No! Oh, no! Alright. Mm, fucking... I have to make this as epic as possible. Huh? Uh, here we go. He's not here either. But okay, I will make a marker. Unless he's in that tree. In that tree. Okay, he wasn't in the tree. Well, I guess it's back to the shed. What is that thing? Oh, it's a flag that's like... Loading in. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but it was like... It was weirdly like... 